Our experts will uh, answer all of your questions, and they will answer it in their inimitable style. So let's go ahead and meet our experts as you are coming up with those questions. So expert number one, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mrs. Karen LaFontaine, and I am the president of the Homeowners Association in this area. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. Are these, are these your guests? Did they, are we going to have a problem with parking again? They are guests. That we, we are zoned for this amount of parking, Karen. Okay, great. It's great to be here. Yes, okay. thanks, Karen. All right, excellent. Expert number two, please introduce yourself. I'm Dr. Dudley, and I'm a marriage counselor. And oh my gosh, I hope I don't have to hear all these problems. Uh, everybody complain. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, Dr. Debbie, these people are just here to enjoy the show. Uh, I'm sure if, if they wanted to consult with you, they could get a hold of you. Uh, how would they get a hold of you? They just call me at 1-800-PLEASE-TALK. And I charge, <laughs> I have to charge $200 an hour. Okay, that sounds fair. 1-800-PLEASE-TALK. All right, excellent. Expert number three, please introduce yourself. I'm Professor Nerd. I specialize in neuropsychology and secretly work for the IRS, skulking out people that are cheating our system. Well, it sounds to me like your secret is out, Professor. <laughs> Not really. All right. <laughs> and finally, expert number four, please introduce yourself. My name is Professor Chloe Shaneling, and I'm an expert in the field of astronomy and oceanography. Anything in between, to hell with it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Professor Chloe. Thank you very much for being here. So you have met our experts, and now we need questions for all of our experts to answer. Our experts are going to answer all of your questions. So who has a question? Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> I see somebody has their hand raised, I think. Yeah, what's the best kind of cheese to put on a grilled cheese sandwich? Oh, excellent. I, you're, I'm really glad I saw you raise your hand. Excellent. So we will start with Karen. Karen, what is the best cheese to put on a grilled cheese sandwich? I really like a nice sharp cheddar, but if you're going to make a grilled cheese, you have to make sure if you use a stinky cheese, you keep your windows closed because we don't want to disturb the rest of the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. No, we don't. No. We don't. Dr. Debbie, what is the best cheese to put on a grilled cheese sandwich? It depends on if what your wife likes or what you like, but just don't ever get into marital, marital conflicts. <laughs> so so it's, a, it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration, of course. Okay, excellent. Professor Nerd, what is the best cheese to put on a grilled cheese sandwich? Well, it's a complicated neuropsychology problem. Uh, the neural uh, networks that cause addiction our, our different cheeses will cause different addictions. So you need to have yourself panel tested for the cheese addiction of your choice. <laughs> so I'm guessing your answer is whatever cheese you happen to be addicted to? Exactly. All right. <laughs> and finally, Professor Chloe. As an old school astronomer, it should come as no surprise, green cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking up what you're throwing down, Professor Chloe. All right, is there a question in the chat? Yes, uh, one of the Zoom participants would like to know, uh, how was Jeff Bezos' pool party? <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. Well, I'm sure our experts know. So we will start this time with Dr. Debbie. Dr. Debbie, how was Jeff Bezos' uh, pool party? I was there, and I believe that you know, he 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 was talking too much, and he was having marital complaints, and he just needed to talk to me, and we spent many hours over the phone, and I I believe that I you know it was a HIPAA violation, so I can't say anymore. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> we, we don't want to we don't want to violate Jeff Bezos's HIPAA. All right, I, he should have talked to you before. That's all I got to say, Doctor Debbie. Yes. Professor Nerd. How was Jeff Bezos' school party? Terrible. Just terrible. As a neuropsychologist, they were too many neurotics. Uh, they were these, uh, these uh, people that uh, could only talk programming. And uh, frankly, 
as a secret IRS resource, many of them had hidden assets. And we're looking for those assets. And we think we've found them. Oh. Yes. You don't say. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, the tension is building. Thank you very much, Professor Nerd. And Professor Chloe, how was Jeff Bezos' uh, pool party? As an oceanographer. Yes. <laughs> I have put much study into all of the great oceans of the world, the Pacific, the Atlantic, Billy. <laughs> and I have seen some amazing things, animals I never imagined, plant life that's just unbelievable. But Bezos' pool is a lot cooler. I'll bet. And a lot deeper, right? Deeper. Right, exactly. You could always find a Caribbean queen at Jeff Bezos' pool party. Oh, and finally, Karen. How was Jeff Bezos' pool party? Well, I wasn't properly notified of it beforehand. I'm sure that was an oversight. But I will say that it was very loud past hours, and he's going to be getting a very sternly worded letter from the association. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. Excellent. All right. And so does anyone in the audience have a question for our panel of experts? Shout it out. I don't look at hands. Is the earth round or flat? Oh, but the, the, let's just stick with the first part of that. All right. So this time we will start with uh, Professor Nerd. Professor Nerd, is the earth round? We're not sure. <laughs> and that is your final answer. Well, as a neuropsychologist, it's all in the mind of the beholder. All right, fair enough. How about Professor Chloe? <clears throat> in my mind, Professor Nerd, the Earth is round. But I certainly agree with your, your suggestion that it may be other shapes to other people. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what some of those shapes would be, but uh, I'm sure there are other shapes. Miss Schaefer. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Chloe. Karen, is the Earth round? I don't think it is. I've never seen any proof that the Earth is round, and everyone that says it is, I think, might just be sheeple. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay. Follow us. That's, that's on brand. All right, and Dr. Gabby, <laughs> is the Earth round? From what I hear from my clients and what I've heard from other people, they're not sure. I think I haven't even to talk to from other clients to, and figure out more statistical research about this. Okay, so it's a kind of a group decision. Yes, it is. Collaboration, if you will. All right, excellent. And is there a question in the chat? I'll take a water chicken question now. <laughs> no water chicken question. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm going to go but, off script and say, I'll... Uh, Panel, what is the best way to raise a water chicken? This time we'll start with Professor Chloe. <clears throat> there are many ways to prepare the water chicken, as I'm sure you're aware. They fricassee it, <laughs> and bake it, fry it, pan fry it, fricassee. <laughs> I like fricassee. I hit that one twice. Uh, and, and the only uh, problem is that you know it is a water chicken. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> All right, thank you, Karen. What is the best way to raise a water chicken? Well, certainly not in this neighborhood. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, point taken. Doctor Debbie, what is the best way to raise a water chicken? The best way is to prop properly walk it, walk it with a leash, and of course, not in her neighborhood. No, okay. Not, no. not in her neighborhood, mm -hmm. and. Properly, you know, feed it every day. All right, that, that sounds good. Professor Nerd, what is the best way to w or raise a water chicken? Well, in our uh, IRS, it's code language for hiding money. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 that what, is that what you folks at the IRS call it? Somebody's stashing a little cash on the side, it's a water chicken, huh? Exactly. Well, then it uh, sounds like we would need to raid a water chicken yeah. instead of raise a water chicken. All right, let's hear it for our panel of experts. <laughs> Excellent. As a matter of fact, yeah, there you go.